Hello guys, let's discuss this problem again which says simplify the denominator of the following expression. So these are the two expressions which may seem very complicated to you but it is actually very easy after rationalizing the denominator. As we have been doing in the previous problems, I will be doing the same thing here to simplify the expression. So let's take our first problem which is 4 root 3 plus 5 root 2 indivisible by root 48 plus root 18. So how are you going to solve this? You know you keep the numerator as it is. Now solve root 48. Root 48 you can write root 48 as 8 into 6. 8 6 are 48 and you can write 6 as 3 into 2 plus you can write root 18 as 9 into 2. You know very well that you can write them separately. How? You can write 8 to the 16. You can write 16 separately and root 3 separately. Here root 9 into root 2. Now after solving this further, what you will get? Root 4. You know that root 16. You know that 4 square. You can write 16 as 4 square. So here there is a square value in the under the root. So this will cancel. Square and root will cancel each other and you will be left with 4. You know that how to solve this. I am directly writing here. This is 4 root 3 plus root 9. This is 3 square. 9 is the square of 3. And square will cancel root and you will be left with 3. So here you will get 3 root 2. Now you match above these two expressions. You know that you can write this as plus 2 root 2. Because 3 root 2 plus 2 root 2 will be 5 root 2. Now what you will do? Let's write them separately. Now here these two expressions are same. There is a plus sign in the middle. These two will cancel each other because they, they are same. Now you have this expression. After rationalizing the denominator here, what you will get in the numerator? You know that this plus sign will get changed into negative sign and this will be 4 root 3 minus 3 root 2. And you know that when you are rationalizing it, you will be getting the same thing in the denominator as well. This is the a plus b, a minus b. After rationalization, keep in mind you will always get the form of a square minus b square. So I won't be writing this again and again. I will directly write this step. Take the square of this value a square and take the square of this value. Now after solving this further what you will get? You will keep this same in the denominator. You will take the square of 4. You can write them separately. Square of 4 then take the root square of root 3. 4 square is 16 and root 3 square is 3. 16 into 3 is 48 minus. Take the square of 3 and then take the square of root 2. You can always write them separately because when the terms are in multiplication, I have been doing this thing. You can take the square of 3 into square of root 2. So this will be 9 into 2 which means 18. So your answer will be 13 and you can further reduce it to 15. So this is 1 minus root 2, 4 root 3 minus 3 root 2 divisible by root 15. You can multiply this root 2 inside and you can get the further value here. I hope there should be no doubt here. Let's move on to second problem. Which is 2 upon root, 50, root 5 plus root 3 plus 1 upon root 3 plus root 2 minus 3 upon root 5 plus root 2. How you can write this? You know that you are going to rationalize all these denominators. And I am always going to write the form of a square minus b square after rationalizing the denominator because you will always get the form of a plus b and a minus b in the 
denominator. So let's directly write it. So I have done what I have done here. I have rationalized the denominator, then multiplied the numerators and multiplied the denominators, which will be in the form of a plus b, a minus b. So I have directly written a square minus b square form in all these denominators. Now let's solve this further. Root 5 square will give you 5. Root 3 square will give you 3 and 5 minus 3 will be 2. Root 3 minus root 2, keep it as it is. Root 3 square will give you 3. Root 2 square will give you 2 and 3 minus 2 will be 1. Minus, keep it as it is. Root 5 square will give you 5 and root 2 square will give you 2. 5 minus 2 will be 3. Here, 3 will cancel 3. 2 will cancel 2. Now let's write down the further step. You will be left with this in the first term. Here, there is negative sign outside. So this negative will make this positive term negative. And this negative sign because you are multiplying the negative value with negative value. So this will make it positive. Now let's, let's see if something is getting subtracted. Root 5 and root 5 because this is plus root 5 and this is negative. This is negative, this is positive. So what you are getting after simplification? You are getting 0. I hope there should be no doubt here. I will be taking more problems in the next video lecture. Thank you.